to the beam of light we go, or to the hole inside of the uh, whatever that is. It looks like a thunderhead, thunder cloud. I believe they call it thunderheads, right? Might be wrong there. <clears throat> oh no, not the tornadoes when I just boosted. Wow. Oh dear. Stop with the tornadoes. Holy crap. No! What happens now? Really? That was the first time we actually got hit by those things. I guess we can expect tornadoes at a thing like this. Let's just see what's inside. Alright. There's enemies here. Inside the Thunderhead. Oh, look, we have a goddess cube over here. Alright, now. I think that's the big island that it's pointing towards. Oh boy, what are these guys? I can't swing my sword around in this. I have to actually dodge them the whole way. Yo, yo. Relax. Look at that rainbow. Go to the big beam of light. It'll protect us. Fly inside it. There we go, sorta kinda. Oh, there we go, disco. Now we're actually stalling. All right, so where is that goddess cube? Is it down here? Yeah. Yep, I think it is, I think I just saw it. Let's open it up. We have enough space in the, in the rupee pouch. There we go, you got a gold rupee worth 300 rupees and this for the first time ever will feel the full value. That's awesome. Ooh, new music. Uh, this is a puzzle, I remember this. And dive. Alright. Big beam of light pointing directly at the middle of the tower. Some ingenuity. Master Link, I have memories of this island. Wow. It is known as the Island of Songs. Sign, signs indicate that it was left here for you by the Goddess Master. However, I am unable to determine the means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Sure thing. Uh. Aw oh man, is it stupid that I still remember what to do here? We get, can like move stuff over. And we have to form a bridge. That's as far as I know. Um, we can hit these things. Like so. And we have to line them up, of course. Move. See, it's just like that. Uh, we have two of them lined up. We just need that one. What happens if I do this? Yeah, just the middle one stays up. Alright, that's perfect. Now, if the middle one can just give that one one tick, like so, now we. Alright, they're all clear, all three. Not till the end, though. Be careful with that. Keep it at it, keep at it. At least they're lined up. Like this one, yeah, perfect. All right, that was actually really easy. Oh, good thing I remembered this because I know that the last time I did this, I spent like 40 minutes on this puzzle. Uh, yeah. This is a very tiny door. Hey, save point. Look at this place. It's awesome. Obvious what we have to do here.
talking statue. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number, so there are three sacred flames to obtain them. You must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts, three. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you a memory it will serve a memory. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep within the Farren Woods. The wilds of the Farren Woods. That song is called Faror's Courage. Faror's Courage. Its rousing medley will guide you. You learned Faror's Courage. Faror's Courage. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Farron's... I have committed Far... Oh my god, these words, man. Faror's courage is to memory. Now, you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Farron Woods as soon as you are ready. Alright, well then. Awesome. The big statue just disappeared. Alright, looks like a pretty flower. Yeah, we have to go out the hall. Really? Could have figured it out myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can just dive off here, right? <laughs> Certainly hope so. Let's go to the Rainbow Island. I want to see it. There's actually a bunch of islands on here. There's one on here as well. This is the Rainbow one. I want to see the other big one as well. First, Rainbow Island. There's nothing on here except for hearts. Where's the other big island? That's super big island. Is it right in front of us? Oh, I just flew. Flying insect, whatever that may have been. Flying centipedes? Great. It's actually quite big in here. It looks smaller from the outside. Oh man, these guys are annoying. How do you shake them? Wow, that's a big island. Check it out. I actually forgot all about this thing. I want to land on top. Wow, I do not remember this being here. I think I've ever been to this place. Oh god, it's more wasps! It's okay, we need more larvae! Oh boy, panic, help! Help! Oh, what's happening? Catch him. Yes, that's a wasp. Now please, put the text away so I can catch the rest. Deku Hornets, that's the word. 
Catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Alright, I hear one more, but he's not bothering us. Can we get the hornet's nest now? Oh, no! We jumped off! Oh, crap. How do we get back up there? With wasps behind us! Please! Hello? Can I please catch the last one? Where'd it go? Oh, man. This is hard. Hardcore Zelda mode. Alright, I think we're back up there again. Swing on a rope, alright. Looks like we can do a shortcut here. Why not? This is like a little mini temple, this island. Alright, let's actually roll into the tree now. Wow, we almost missed it again. I guess we can farm horn things. Can we not get this? There we go. Oh my god, even more. We will never need this, Betty. We just need your hoarded larve. That's one. So we're also out of tumbleweeds. I'm just gonna jump down here. Wow, he hit us midair. All right, so it looks like we're safe underwater. All right, now how do we get out of here? There's a lot of energy. There's stamina orbs in here. Already stuck. And stuck again. All right, I think I'm st actually stuck. Don't know what's going on. Noobing around. So many pots. No rupees. What a troll behind this spider web as well. Could have expected something cool there. Lots of climbing. Alright. Um, sure. Alright, I guess it's just a little random island. What's this thing? There's more space here. Alright, now I want to get out of here. I want to get back to what we were doing. I'm lost, help. Ooh, more pots. There's nothing in them. It's a big empty island. Oh, wait. Ooh, that was close. I just actually got his chest up there. Alright, why not grab almost all of our hearts completely full again? Like there were no hornets ever. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm scared. I'm done with this place. I'm done. I'm out of here. See y'all later. Bye. I also remember there's like this... No, I'm not going to say it yet. No spoilers yet. If you haven't seen this, I'm not going to spoil that, because that's pretty cool. I remember something really cool up in this place. Go away, flying centipedes. Leave me be. This has got to go fast. It doesn't look like we can enter that. It looks like a flat image. All right, uh, we just learned a song, so let's just go into the Farron Woods, I guess. Or, before we do that, hmm, let's do one thing before we do that. Yeah. Let's make it night time first. Alright, so we have to sleep in our bed to make it nighttime. Because I actually do want to collect a few more of those gratitude crystals before we move on with the main story. 
Don't know when we'll have our next um, side questing break. I don't even think you, we can call it side questing since it's actually part of like upgrading our gear. So we might as well just call it uh, the Gratitude Crystal Missions. Instead of just calling it side questing. Side questing is actually full of purpose in this game. Of course, you can finish the game without it. But it's fun. Uh, until night. I mean, I want to get, like, more upgrades to our gear. So far, he gave us a piece of heart and a bigger wallet. I wonder what the next rewards are. Look, there's one already. You've got one gratitude crystal. Complete overwhelm with feelings of thankfulness to crystallize gratitude is created. Show them to Bert. Uncle Bats. So now we have 21. Alright. Um, I have a little list here of where more of them are. Yeah, I'm not looking. <laughs> I know. All right, so we can get ten right now, at like our earliest convenience. Um, so there was one in Link's room. Um, should be one upstairs as well. Uh, it's so annoying that you can't run inside the house. And if you roll, look, there's another one. All right, awesome. Are they gonna show us this every single time we get one now? No, that's fine. This way we can see how many we have already. So, uh, now let's go to what Aritya said the last time. Uh, the sparring hall. Should be one in there as well. A short distance to have to grab the sailcloth. Yeah, see, there's one right there. She was right all along. Oh, we can actually speed up now. I haven't even checked that out. That's awesome. Got the gratitude crystal though. All right, sweet. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. She also said that there was one, like, at the sneak path. I don't know how else to call it, but the sneak path. Just gonna run a circle around the island to see if we can find some more gratitude crystals. Oh, look, it's right here. Nice! You got one gratitude crystal. Yes, yes. Very nice. Show them to Uncle Bats. We're just gonna call Uncle Bats. I like that. Uh, I'm checking the list right now. There should be way more up here. Holy crap. Alright. Um, so we're at the sneak, sneaky part right now. Let's see, there's also right here. I'm right. Oh, jelly ball. Give us jelly pop. I'll also be perfectly happy with the monster claw. Nope. Alright, whatever, guys. It's okay. Down here. Yep. Looking this up is actually pretty OP. <laughs> Please overwhelm with feelings of thankfulness. Yes, every single gratitude crystal is going to show us the exact same thing. Alright, so that's five already. We have 25. So we. How do we get back up though? Is this fine? Yes, they are. So maybe we have to like jump off and fly back on top. Um. In this house should be one. I'm just gonna collect the initial 10 and then we're gonna set out for Fairwoods. Uh, in this house. Yep. That's 26. Only a couple more. All right. Uh, no, no evil kitty. I'll leave you be this time, cat. 
Ruby. Four, four fifty. Nice. Only because it's such a nice number, I turn around for one rupee. Ah, look, there's one right behind the tower. Getting better at that. Just running onto ladders. Yeah, that's another one. Alright, so I actually only need uh, three more after this. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no. Crap. That was not supposed to happen. First time we fell off. Whoa there, trainee. You'll never be promoted to full knighthood if you don't if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Hey. So we can't even fly at night? Hmm. That's weird. I haven't even tried that. Oh well. It doesn't even really matter. Um, so from the plaza we can go up there, to this part of the map. Ah, uh, leave us alone, evil kitty. The highest part up here should have one as well. Alright, yeah, like I already said, I am going to use uh, a little guide for the grass crystals, because it's so many of them. Yes. Monster claws, please. We were running short on those. And here's one of more of those things. Gratitude Crystal. I think it should work like everything else though. Like the first one you grab in a session should actually give you this. This whole screen. But after that, showing on every single one. That's a bit overkill. Anyway. Uh, to the next part. That uh, is inside the cave. Oh, why are we swimming? We're so slow when we swing. And getting hit by Batsy does not really help. Uncle Batsy. Getting gratitude crystals for Uncle Batsy while being attacked by Batsies. Stupid Batsies. Leave me be. I'm just swimming at night. Evil kitties as well. And Skyloft is a nightmare at night. No pun intended. Die, Bats. Die. Alright, enough with the psycho. Of course, my rupee falls off. Grrr. Alright. So, at the end of this cave, we should find the last two. This is a good spot to farm those monster claws. And these are just single jellies. And seems like their drop rate is very low. Uh, turn around. I tried to turn around. Sometimes the controls just really glitch out or something. I, it's not even glitching out. Another monster claw, that's perfect. More? Nope. Nope. Don't see any in the tunnel. Uh, swing the sword. I heard. I heard it. Oh, that was a heart. Not a monster claw. I thought I heard the sound of one. Oh, whatever. Alright, now one should be right here. Yeah, look, there it is. One more to go. And I know exactly where it is. That's 29. And then here at the end, we have number 30. That is awesome. Now, Batsy told us to get 30 and show it to him. So, let's actually go back and show it to him. 
I just want to test if we can jump off it. Fly at night. Nope. Can't press the button. Can't call for the loft wing. Dude, I need to ride up to the surface, please. I'm not down here again. Oh, they're trainee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Bye. Hut. Hut, hut. I want to fly at night. In real life, I'm a night owl. Like, I live at night. Or I want to. But yeah. I like the night. I like when it's dark out. I don't know if more of you guys have that feeling. That you get, like, more rest when it's night. And I don't mean it in a way of, like, of course, duh, you sleep at night. No, I mean, like, when I'm awake at night, I feel like I can truly relax. Because the world is so calm. Like, at the day, there's so much traffic going around, and I live in a big city, so there's always traffic. Even at night, there's traffic, but there's so much less traffic. Like, And by this, I don't mean my definition of the world resting, meaning no car traffic or something. No, it's not like that. It's just like, night just feels so much calmer, so much more relaxed. And for me, a person with ADHD, it's actually really nice when the nights are just quiet, you know? Sometimes you need that stuff. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. Yeah, I was asking you guys, do you guys rest more at night or during the day? And then I mean not in a sleeping way. So it's not like, uh, oh, I, I rest when I sleep at night. No, I mean like, to be awake, you have, you have to times you can relax but you don't have to necessarily be sleeping and still rest if that makes sense but shit though it's not that weird all right let's go back to the cemetery and show batsy these new thingies we got gratitude crystals it just showed us 10 times with the name i almost forgot it that would have been bad yo cat go hunt for bats Plenty of evil batsies. During the day, they seem so sweet, the cats. Alright, bats. Oh, I don't even need the sailcloth. That's cool. Alright, let's show him the 30, and then we set out for Farron Woods in search of our first trial. Trials are gonna be something, man. Those are gonna be fun. Hello, Uncle Bats. Got you more crystals. Got quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? Please take this as a token of a demon's deepest appreciation. You've got a big wallet. You can carry up to a thousand rupees in this massive wallet. Even more. You've made such a magnificent progress gathering gratitude crystals. Please, just continue helping me a bit longer. Ooh, we got something extra. A big wallet and something else. No, I beg you, stop. That chest is not to be opened under any circumstance. There's something unspeakable inside. Uh, what's in it? Yes, I want to open it, but what's in it? That chest contains the infamous evil of dreaded cursed metal. If you metal with you, you'll find more rupees than ever before. You'll even have better chance of discovering treasure. You'll, you'll, oh, don't make me say it. Say what? It gets worse. Far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds that medal will find himself unable to open his pouch. Okay, wow. So if we hold that medal, we cannot open the pouch. No matter how badly you want to use your potions or, or shields, they will be denied to you. Can you imagine a more gruesome fate? Please, push any thoughts of this chest out of your mind forever. You must never think of it again. Well, I really would. I really do like my my bottles and my my organizing. It would have been all for nothing if we can't open it. I wouldn't like that. All right. So on to the main objective. We have to make it day again. Oh boy! I don't want to fall. All right. Let's get. Isn't there a bed closer than the Knights Academy? Isn't there just a bed in here that we can sleep in? We've been over this, Mom. What's this? Mama. 
Calm down, Pippa. Don't get so mad. How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Knights Academy. I didn't take that job trolling just so you could live a life of luxury. You've got to stop doing this. Oh man, Pippet's mad. Well, hey there, Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard that, right? Ah, uh, let's get from this one. Heard what? Nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, I've got to be get back out on patrol. You take care of yourself when you're walking the streets. Sure thing, will do. Alright, no problem. Go away, cat. Evil creature. So scary. All these blobs. See, they rarely ever drop one of the jelly blobs. Too bad, really. Alright, we're almost there. Back at the economy. Let's get to our bed real quick. And then when we wake up, we're gonna fly out through the green beam of light. We haven't been there for a while. Oh, that's not true. We went there for a hornet larf. We're gonna go out there towards the green light. And then we're gonna go in search of our first trial. <laughs> 